black guy out. Like, there are big ships, <laughs> there are small ships, there are ships that sail the sea, but the best ships are friendships, and may they always be. <laughs> Whether we were video chatting while Alex was in Boston or Michigan, or we were visiting uh, Marquette where we met, Alex was always there for me. And I know that that's who Alex will be for Alex. That's who Alex is. He's there to support you. He's there to give you lots of opinions. <laughs> He's also there to challenge you because he makes everything a competition. And he'll probably beat you as well. But in the process, he makes you better. was pretty nervous about that first introduction because I can be a little bit judgmental and uh, I wanted the very best for Albert. And the truth is, he didn't have to worry because everything he said about Alex was true. It was so clear that he loved Albert very, very much. Good people with deep affection for Alexander and for Albert. We have gathered here today to witness, celebrate, and bless their mutual vows that will unite them in marriage. So on behalf of the couple and their families, I want to thank each of you for coming and sharing this moment with them. I will love you forever, whatever happens, till I die and after I die. And when I find my way out of the land of the dead, I'll drift about forever till I find you again. I'll be looking for you every moment, every single moment. And when we do find each other again, we'll cling together so tight that nothing and no one will ever tear us apart. The word holy in Hebrew literally means to set something apart. And now here we gather to set apart a new moment, one that is made possible by every holy moment that has come before and one that will shape everyone yet to come. By committing to sharing your lives together, you commit to the work of setting each other apart too. Sustained by the knowledge that your lives are immeasurably richer through walking together Albert and Alex, we surround you with our love and share in your joy this day. I don't think I've ever told you this, but when I think about you, when I think about us, I smile. Every single day. I promise to remember that, especially when we're frustrated with or exasperated with each other. I promise to communicate with you always, rather than close myself off. I promise to put us first. It is through these promises that I know I love you, and I can't wait to call you my husband. I believe in you as I've never believed in anything. And I love you as I didn't think I could love anyone. 
So for as long as I draw breath, your, your strife will be my burden and your joy will be my own. I will carry your yoke, cry your tears, and rejoice in your laughter. I will choose you this day and each day until my last day. Alexander, Albert, because you have come here to be joined in marriage and have expressed your commitment to one another by sharing your vows and exchanging rings by the power vested in me in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I declare with great joy that you are now married. You may kiss your husband. He was the right man for Alex. He was cheating a little bit because they were already engaged. <laughs> but still, Albert was the perfect mix of loving, thoughtful, and most importantly, when it comes to a partner for Alex, patient. pontificating about something really silly. It was, it was time travel. <laughs> and I, was, I was going on and on about how, you know, wouldn't it be amazing if we just go back in time and, and experience that era and witness these events? And he was nodding very politely. And I, I recall asking Alex, I said, wouldn't you just love to do that? And he, he did that thing, which I'm sure many of you have witnessed yourselves, where, you know, he tilted his head. <laughs> and then like looked off into the distance and then he said to me I wouldn't like that because because Albert wouldn't be with me Aww. I find that very moving Oh. 
beneficiaries of your love and support through the years. Alex, I love you very much. Thank you for loving my best friend the way you do. And Albert, you know how much I love you. And there's literally no one in the world I'd rather be confused with than you. <laughs> Albie and I uh, didn't grow up dreaming of getting married. Uh, it never felt quite right to either of us to dream of a wedding. Uh, we dreamt instead of uh, family, of support, of acceptance. Uh, Xander and I never dreamt of a wedding, but here we are, surrounded by family, both by blood and by choice. I don't know what we would have dreamt of, um, but I know that it couldn't compare to this. So, without further ado, thank you so much for com coming and celebrating this with us today. It means so much to both of us, to our family, to our friends, everyone. So, after this, let's celebrate with some food and drink. So, thank you. <laughs>
Take me back to the night.